Hey guys, what's up? It's Alicia from Alicia Meat Sticks, and a few days ago I went to Sephora and I got some stuff because I ran out of things and I needed new things to step up my makeup game. I got a whole bunch of stuff and I'm basically just going to show you guys what I got and then I'll put like a little montage of me trying on the stuff and then I'll put little like added notes. Here's my big bag by the way. First thing that I got is this Sephora Pro Airbrush Pro Airbrush Blender number 78 and it looks like this. It's this fat brush. It comes in this case and it's like very very thick and stubbly but very soft at the same time. You're supposed to just dab it as if it were a beauty blender so yeah. I heard that you have to be careful of the product because if you put too much it will kick it up so you should just do like a little bit at a time um, because this stuff will build it up pretty easily. Then I got another Sephora brush and this one is the Pro Blending um, eyeshadow brush number 27 and get it out of this case. There. It looks like this. And it's really soft as well. And then because I ran out of mascara, I had to get a new one. And normally my go-to mascara is the Lancome Drama one because that one is amazing. But that one's like 30 something bucks and I heard good reviews about this mascara and it's about 10 bucks cheaper so I just wanted to try it out and so I got the Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced and they have a lot of good reviews on this one. I mean the packaging gives a lot of support with that so we'll find out if that's accurate or not and the tube looks like this and it's really heavy actually. I mean for mascara it has like this hourglass shape. I found that Smashbox did a brown nudes kind of palette or trio thing, eyeshadow trio, and so I got this, and it looks like that. Then they have like a light base and like a medium one for the crease, and then a dark one for um, shadowing and stuff like that. And they claim it's smudge proof and whatnot, so we'll try that out. I got the Sephora lashes. I don't remember the name of them because it's not on the packaging, but in the store it was kind of in the natural section. Um, they look like this, they're not extremely natural, but they're very nice. And it comes with this cute little glue tube, and I'm out of eyelash glue anyways, so that was perfect. And finally, I got these two samples with all the stuff I bought, and one of them is the Clinique um, Pep Start Eye Cream, and they claim that in three seconds your eyes will look wide awake, refreshed, and hydrated. So we'll see if that works. And I also got this Philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar moisturizer sample and they're basically saying that your skin will look very healthy and glow and all day hydration and virtually line free so we'll see if that is true as well. And because I got a bunch of rewards points with my Sephora rewards card, I got a reward thing and I chose to get the Marc Jacobs fine liner. It's like an um, it's like an eye crayon, ultra skinny gel eye crayon um, in black and it looks pretty fancy. It's like kind of chrome looking, very thin <clears throat> and very thin. Normally I use um, liquid eyeliner but we'll see how this works and if it's any good. And yeah, so let's get started.
guys, so I just got back from my daily adventures. Basically, everything is staying really well, and um, I don't know, I really like it. And I think I liked all of them really, really well. And then I think my least favorite product was the eyeliner, the Marc Jacobs eyeliner, just because I don't really typically like pencil-like eyeliners, I just like liquid ones, but I have to say I would continue to use it just for like this part of the eyelid, not for the wings. Like, don't even attempt to use it for the wings, it does not work. I en actually ended up today buying more things from Sephora because I ran out of um, concealer, so I got the NARS concealer and then I ended up getting one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencils because I was out of that, it's like this like liner thing. So yeah, like I wasn't able to fit that in this video, but if you want me to do like a review on those, like let me know down below and I'll try them out for you guys. That's pretty much all I have for today. Give it a like if you like this and I'll see you guys next week.